Brighton Myers residents come join us inside to meet Illinois' youngest fan of fratricide. His folks are like damn son, how the kid do this to the sanatorium and Dr. Sam Loomis. A full grown man and qualified doctor whose professional opinions that Michael's a monster. Skip 15 years, you boys the first respondent when Michael breaks free to continue his nonsense. Tugging on the sleeve of American fears in suburban backyards where he suddenly appears. Meet Laurie and her friends making Halloween plans, babysitting, carving pumpkins, getting stalked by a man. Dr. Loomis tracks Mike to take him back to jail. The good doctor is A, having Michael's his way. I'm repentant and eager to continue its cycle. His highest self's calling him on because Michael is sharp at his best knife and living his best life. Practicing lurking and murdering workmen. Hiding in buildings and menacing children. Ripping up headstones and staring in bedrooms. Being a legend and peeping around hedges. Breaking in stores and confounding the law with his first ever tour since previous hygiene. Making nutritionist sob killing and eating straight odds. Laurie's with Tommy in babysitting mode while Annie's at the Wallace's across the road. Tommy sees the boogeyman lurking nearby. The dog runs out and Michael says hi. Spilling butter on herself, Annie changes her shirt. We all sit and watch, but Michael's the pervert. Leaving Laurie in charge, Annie embarks on an errand and gets in the car to go and pick up a boyfriend. But Mike jumps out and goes straight for a throat, then lays in wait for her friends to show up. Bob and Linda do the deed which marks him for death. Bob fancies a beer and gets a knife in his chest. Michael tries cosplay murders Lynn with a phone while Laurie listens from the other side of the road. Finds Lynn and Annie dead and Bob's body hanging before Michael jumps out and throws her off at a landing. He's good time Mike and he's out on the town. It's the night of his life and he's rolling around. Stitching up kitchens for getting his kicks in. Battering doors and chasing teens on all fours. The ultimate prankster, a holiday gangster. Pretending he dies for an added surprise. Remodeling bedrooms with additional headrooms. Spicing up evenings by being a demon. Michael's murderous ways making everyone anxious. A commitment to the bit and it's honestly banter. Finding Michael upstairs, the doctor dispenses his prescription. Shooting Mike in the face to cure his affliction. Doing medicine with Laurie thinking hard as he can. Loomis diagnoses Michael as the boogeyman. Having been shot six times and fallen 20 feet, oh, he's probably dead so there won't be a sequel.